Well, I built this workbench here not too long ago, and there's a video on that. But I need it now to put in some drawers. So I just built some drawers. So let's see where that takes us. Well, continuing on my quest to build my workbench out and my shop, I'm going to put some drawers in here. Now I got some, I'm going to build a box for the drawers. I've got the bottom piece of plywood in and the two sides I've cut. I used some scrap plywood I had around. So now I'm going to see how my drawers will be going in here. And for drawers for this project, I'm going to repurpose some drawers. I got these from one of my sons. I figured, shoot, I could use these. The only problem that I could see was I only had part of the slides that were attached to the drawer. I didn't get the part that's stationary. And on top of that, to be able to use these drawer fronts, these are only 38 inch, three eighths of an inch uh, wide. Not the normal half inch for drawer slides. So I've got those ordered from Grizzly, the three eighths to, to fit in here. And we'll see how that goes. So I ordered these 3 8 inch slides from Grizzly. Let's see what we've got. Oh, good. They did come with screws. I was curious about that. It listed on the site. So let's see how they will work with those drawers. Oh yeah. Definitely works. The half inch standard drawer slides would be too wide. This one will hide and I won't have to make another front. Actually, this is the way that works. All right. Well, that'll save me a step or two in reusing these drawers. I've got the box cut for my drawers the bottom, the top, and both sides. I'm going to try to do a dry fit here to make sure it fits before I glue it up. So I've got the uh, two sides just put on with uh, some clamps. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think it'll fit. Not bad. Let's take it out now. I'll glue it up. Go on to the next step. Well, next is to route some dados for the vertical pieces. What I've got to do, I'm going to use this piece of MDF coated in melamine as my vertical support for the shelves. And I'm gonna do some dados. And I made this little jig here for routing those out.
clean up the edge here a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. And one of the benefits of using this piece of melanin is it's already got the holes drilled in it. I'm going to put a, a door and shelves in for the middle section. Not bad. I've got the second data routed out for the on the bottom. So what I do now is do the top and I just extended lines so I know where to cut the data. So we'll do that now. But the dados cut for the sides of the drawers and the rabbits for the other side. I'm just going to glue and screw these on the sides. I opt to go with just smaller sections of the sides, two smaller sections, easier to handle than the one large sheet. Now we'll just do the same for the other side. Well, I finished putting on the stretchers for the carcass for the drawers. And now I'm going to put in these vertical divides. I'll cut those down. Probably won't be needing any glue for this side. I'll just screw it down. Time to put the slides on. And my spacer is a paint stir stick. Put those right there. Oh no, I ordered the wrong ones. They open to the back. Nah, they don't. 
we just turn it around. Hey. Hi. <laughs> now we'll put the piece on that goes on in the drawer. Since my measurements all worked out, hmm. look at that. Look at that. Are you as surprised as I am? All right. I'm gonna truth here. Now the first time it's gonna be a little tough there. Then that's part of the clicking mechanism. There we go. One more time for good measure. Nice. And we'll put a false front on it. Something like that. I use a paint stick as my spacer. That'll be next. Well, there you have it. Worked out all right. Maybe the only drawback on those small slides or the 3 8 inch drawer slides that I got, they only pull out three quarters of the length of the drawer. But the drawers aren't that deep, so it's not a big deal. Well, thanks for watching. See you on my next project.